Hey guys, and welcome to The Sims 4 Raising YouTubers as Pets series. So this video is coming out two days before The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs pack is released to everybody. And that is thanks to EA sending me an early access code. Thank you so much. You have no idea how excited I am. I have not made a pet on this yet. This is going to be my first pet creation video. And as you can see, my Sim is back in all of her beauty. However, I have changed her everyday outfit slightly. Look it! I have paw print pants. Yay! You may notice that Bobby is not joining me. I may add him later like I did for the first series, but I want to see how this goes because I'm very new to adding pets to The Sims 4. So we're going to see how just I handle things for now. And I'm going to get right into starting to make my pet animal sims slash YouTubers in animal form. And I'm going to create them in the order that they were created for the first season of Raising YouTubers, which means that we have Yammy XOX up first. And I've decided to make Yemi a cat. Oh my god, it's so cute. What is it wearing? It's wearing a hoodie. Oh my god, I didn't know they could have clothes. Oh my god, it's sushi. Oh my god. I'm gonna die, guys. The, it's too cute. She's a friggin' taco. So we are starting all of the animals off as babies. Oh my god. Which is probably gonna make my house chaos, but that's okay. That's the whole point. What the heck is this? Oh my god. It's so cute! Oh my heart! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ugh. So Yami owns two dogs, but she just got a kitten named Astrid, who is a ragdoll cat and looks exactly like this. So I am going to make Yami a ragdoll cat as well. However, she is going to be a super colorful ragdoll cat so that it looks like Yami in animal version. Oh my gosh, so she can either be super fluffy or not so fluffy. Kind of like the not so fluffy for her. Eh, that's probably as close as I'm going to get to her hair color. And I'm just going to speed it up from here, I think. And here is Yammy as a ragdoll cat. So I made her fur even more like the color of her regular hair. And then I gave her the ragdoll markings that Astrid has. And then uh, they don't have brown eyes for cats. So I gave her uh, this orangey color because that's like on the dark end of the scale, I guess. And uh, yeah, I gave her her cat eye eyeliner because you had to. You had to for Yammy. Give her the cat eye eyeliner. And she is so cute. Like this is her sitting. This is her uh, standing up. This is her on her... Her back. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, what traits can I put for Yammy Cat? I'll say playful. Ooh, a prowler. I'll say curious. All right, moving on. The next person I made was Scott. Now, Scott's a tricky one, but I think I'll make him a dog. Oh my god, Scott! Did you just poop? <laughs> I didn't even know they could do that. All right, puppy. Oh my god. All right, what kind of dog would Scott be? Perfect. A Scottish Terrier. Because Scott's name is Scott, and Scott is from Scotland. And his username is, dang, that's a long name. <laughs> Scott the Scottish Terrier. Ooh, we got tail options. Well, I guess I'll leave the one that comes with a normal Scottish Terrier. Also, if you're wondering about the outfits, puppies can't wear the clothing. It's when they get older that I'll give them outfits. Time to be teal puppy. And I'll speed things up now. I'm going to make Scott fluffy only because when he becomes an adult, he looks like this and it's so cool. He looks like one of those dinosaur things from Jurassic Park that shoots poison. <laughs> yes, Scott, yes. He's gonna be a fluffy little thing. <laughs> this is way too much fun. All right, and here is Scott the Scottish Terrier. He's teal because Scott has teal hair right now and got blue eyes because Scott has blue eyes. And uh, you may be wondering why I put this on him. It's because I'm mean. I'm 
being me. I'm continuing the joke from the first season of Raising YouTubers that Scott is the worst. And I mean, it's paying tribute to the dog that I started out with when I started making him that pooped right on the Create a Sim screen. But look, it's a kawaii smiling little poopy. It's cute. It's cute, Scott. <laughs> What are Scott's traits? I'll say friendly. Scott is friendly. Troublemaker, of course. <laughs> and vocal. Yes. Aw, he's so cute. The next one I'm gonna make is Lizzie, who of course is gonna have to be a cat. Kitten, that is. I'm trying to find a cat that looks like Buddy. I mean, a lot of them look like Buddy, but I don't know what breed Buddy actually is. I don't know. I kind of like this one. All right, let's speed things up. And this is Lizzie Kitty. I gave her a little bit of eyeliner, quote unquote eyeliner too, to make her look a little bit more human-like. And I made her fluffy and I put these little hearts on the back because for some reason I thought it looked like Lizzie. It's like my little pony cutie marks. But yeah, she's so cute. All right, what are Lizzie's traits? I'll try to pick different ones from Yammy say affectionate that matches her hearts on her on her butt free spirit and i'll say fluffy all right so next up is joel aka smallish beans and i'm going to make him a dog and i'm gonna try and model him after their dog mary so i forget exactly what kind of dog mary is but this one as an adult looks similar so i'm gonna go with this one which is a german spitz and because i'm having so much fun having rainbow colored pets i'm gonna make joel Holes green to simulate his Minecraft character. And here is Joel. He's so cute. He's just like a big fluffy green blob with brown eyes. All right, and Joel is gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna start picking random categories so that I can start getting used to all the traits. We'll say adventurous, a hunter, and smart. It's like I went down, straight down in a row. There you go, Joel. Next up, we have Vixella, who I'm going to make as a dog so that I can model her after her husky. And here is Fixella Puppy. Look, I gave her like a little heart fur mark. I don't know what to call it. And of course I gave her a tiny bit of eyeliner-ish. And now for her traits. I'm gonna put, I'll keep active because I know huskies are active. Eh, let's say jumpy. I haven't done that yet. And vocal. All right, next up is one I'm particularly excited to make because it's CPK. And CPK's alter ego is a fox, which you can make. I mean, it's technically a dog, but it's a fox. Oh my God. And the best part about this is I don't really have to do much to him. So his tail is gonna look a little weird just until uh, he grows up. But once he grows up, it will become fluffy. And they have actual fox sounds. What does the fox say? <laughs> Oh God. Now I don't really need to change anything because I want it to grow into a regular fox, but CPK does have blue eyes, so I will do that. There we go. And because he's a fox, they automatically added troublemaker and stubborn. I'll leave those. And I'll put hunter because foxes are hunters. Perfect. Next up is Ollie, who is also particularly interesting because uh, Ollie's alter ego is a panda, which I can't make. However, I did learn I can make a raccoon. Look at it. Oh, Oh my god, it's so cute. I mean, kind of scary, but cute. And now I'm gonna make this raccoon look kind of like a raccoon panda. <laughs> All right, and here is raccoon slash panda version of Ollie. <laughs> it's so cute, but weird. And look, it even makes raccoon noises. And raccoon traits are mischievous and territorial. And let's say glutton. 
Perfect. And lastly, of course, we have Joey, who I have to create in another household and then move him over like last time. Joey is going to be a husky too, because of all of the huskies that he owns in real life. I'm gonna make him a fluffy husky though, to mimic his fluffy hair. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the basic husky layout of his fur, but make it brown like his hair. Now, Joey has a lot of huskies that have different color eyes for each eye, and I'm going to mimic that. So he, Joey, has greenish blue eyes in real life. So I'm gonna make one of this husky's eyes blue and one of them green. Cute! And I found this little bow tie stamp in here, which I want to give him to mimic last season when he was wearing a tuxedo the whole time. Yay! He's so cute! Oh my gosh. I know, I think there's like a way to make them wear a tuxedo outfit, but I can't do it while they're puppies. I gotta wait till he grows up. But oh my gosh, he's so cute! And I'll keep active. Let's put playful. And let's say he's independent. Oh my gosh, they're all so little! Look at that! All right, so we have made it to our house. As you can see, I am down here with the whole crew, Joey included now. And you guys might be wondering where Cupquake is. So last season, when I added Cupquake, I started experiencing some glitches that was making it hard to play. I played around them, but I think it was because I had too many characters on a plot, which the mod that lets you add more than eight warns you about. So until I can get a feel for the animals, I already have one over what I'm supposed to, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen or else I might need to take one away. I'm praying that doesn't happen because I'm not going to be able to because they're all so cute. But we're going to see how it goes with just this crew. And yeah, I hope people aren't too upset about it. But anyway, does this look familiar? It should because it's the YouTube residence that I used for the Raising YouTubers season one. However, I have modified it to be more animal friendly instead of child friendly. I got a kitty cat mailbox and we have this training course out here and some toy boxes and then when you go through the doors to the left is this cute little living room area i've updated and there's these adorable cat planters with succulents and this might look like a cow but it's not it's a dog and another cat one and then this is the same but over here i have replaced all of the tables with bowls and i have a bowl for each of them and then i put little paw prints on the walls there's little treat jars on the tables paw prints all over i changed this little mud room area that we didn't use until like the leash area and there's a little dog calendar and some paw prints and then over here they have added a robot vacuum cleaner and i really want to test it out i wonder if the animals ride on it <laughs> and the bathrooms so i used to have three bathrooms on this floor i now have two litter box rooms that are super cute and then a regular bathroom for sim me to use and then back out here we have two play areas down here the first is right when you walk Walk in behind the bar this way. It says no dogs allowed. And it's the cat room. Look how cute. I tried to simulate outside to trick them. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the cat room filled with awesome cat stuff for them to play with. And then if we go back out and over here, no cats allowed and it's a dog room. But there's really not much in here. I put like a ball and some papers. Over here is a little dog plushie and toys. And that's just the indoor playing areas. And then if you go through here and up the stairs, you reach the second floor that looks pretty familiar to all of you. Here's the bathroom that I will be using. My room is pretty much the same, except I changed out the dressers to these little paw ones. I kept up my little fan art custom content. Here's a little dog cat statue. And then I turned this bathroom into a kitty litter box room as well. And then I separated all of the animals beds into the three different rooms. So over here is the other room as I'd like to call it. This is where the fox and the panda are gonna sleep. The panda raccoon, that is. And then in here is the cat room. And this is where Yammy and Lizzie are gonna sleep. And in here is the dog room, which is Joel, Vixella, Scott, and Joey. And then another robot cleaner. Oh, it's not in its station. Is it cleaning? And then you might be wondering what this room is. This is the fish room. So I learned that I can name fish. And I think I'm going to fill the fish tank 
with popular YouTubers and see if the cats and or dogs try to eat them. I thought that would be kind of funny. <laughs> so like, we'll have like a Jake Paul fish and like a PewDiePie fish, Eliza Koshy fish. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that works out. And then as you can see, uh, there's no more stairs. So the upstairs, I don't know what to do with because it's literally just me. I can't control any of the animals. I can only interact with them and do stuff via my sim. That's it. So like, I don't need any of this. Pretty much all my needs are covered by this floor and the one down here. So I'm not sure what to do with this upstairs space. If you guys have an idea, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'm just gonna leave it uh, unaccessible and we will use these floors because it'll make it much easier to track all of my animals. And then if you look outside, I have this whole training course set up, which I don't think they can use until they have grown up more. But it's all out here so that we, we could give it a shot when the time is right. And as you can see, Person Vixella and Person Cupquake are still out here. I have them roaming around the world. So you will see them from time to time, just wandering around. But oh my god, look how little! They look so little! What are they, supposed to be like three weeks old? Oh my god, look at my face! <laughs> Why? I look like I'm about to murder Vixella! Look happy, you just got a ton of animals! Ah, uh, there you go, yeah, look at the cute animals. Look at all the cute animals. Pick up- Oh god, you just you just stepped on Yammy. Oh god, it's so noisy already. Oh my god, there's people stepping on my animals! Animals, get inside! Well, Yammy's the first one inside. There they come, yay! <laughs> Alright guys, I am so sorry that I have to end the episode. But don't worry, I will be releasing the next episode on Friday, when this pack is released to everybody, just to hype it up some more. But as always, guys, if you made it this- Oh my god, oh my god, she's so sad. Oh my god, Lauren. Pick up Vixella. Already, Vixella is always the one that I like bond with immediately in the series. I don't know why. Anyway, as always, guys, if you made it this far into the video and you're as excited as me for this new series, I just, oh my god, I can't. Make sure to leave a like on the video before you go. Leave me comments below letting me know who turned out to be your favorite. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, whatnot, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And I mean, you have to be around now to check out how these little guys grow up and if I can keep them all alive and as always I will see you guys soon